In refineries and chemical plants, there's an increasing need for purpose-built wireless technology, like Wireless Heart. I'm Roland Plett, and in this tech short, I'll give you a quick description of what Wireless Heart is, and why you should care, and where our customers are finding it most useful. Now, for many years, the control system network has been the focal point of all connectivity solutions inside refineries and chemical plants. Now, use cases like connected worker, predictive maintenance, remote operations, and condition monitoring all drive the need for more connectivity. Wi-Fi can solve some of these general purpose wireless challenges, but moving data between applications, sensors, and sometimes actuators often requires more reliability and industry-specific features than what Wi-Fi can provide. Wireless Heart addresses this need. So how does Wireless Heart do this, and how does it integrate with the rest of the network? Before I get into that, I just want to mention that this video is brought to you by the Industry Solutions Group at Cisco. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I was talking to an energy company recently that is deploying a new process into the production at multiple sites. The number of experts they have trained in this process is relatively small. And in the past, experts of a new process need to ensure that they're on site for a period of time after deployment. But what this company wants to do is instrument the new process enough so that experts can see what's going on remotely from anywhere they happen to be. This means that deployment across multiple sites can happen on a much tighter schedule, and their experts reduce their travel time and costs. Of course, after deployment, there are multiple benefits of having this infrastructure in place, including predictive maintenance workflows and remote operations capability. This is one example of how asset visibility or condition monitoring can make operations much more efficient and safer for personnel. The critical ingredient that makes this work is confidence that the data will be delivered to remote experts in a reliable and timely way, regardless of how harsh the RF environment might be in a plant. You see, Wireless Heart has the reliability of a purpose-built industrial protocol, and it's specifically designed for EHS, process data, and condition monitoring activities. The wireless heart standard builds on the heart standard that was used in wired industrial environments. Now, Emerson and others have thousands of wireless heart endpoints on the market. This provides a ton of possibilities when designing an industrial wireless solution. One of the novel things that Emerson did was create a wireless heart gateway that integrates with Cisco Wi-Fi access points. The beauty of this is that the power and network infrastructure of both the Wi-Fi and wireless heart can be shared and installed only once for both devices. Most wireless heart environments need some kind of general purpose wireless protocol like Wi-Fi to connect workers and equipment that speaks Wi-Fi. To have both of these protocols in one physical unit with one power connection and one network connection, it greatly simplifies the wireless infrastructure overall. When you need wireless reliability in a process control or condition monitoring environment, the answer is a purpose-built protocol like Wireless Heart. If you couple this with Cisco's Wi-Fi in an integrated infrastructure, the cost of deployment can be significantly reduced. For more information on Cisco's integrated solution, check out cisco.com slash go slash IW or contact your Cisco representative for a discussion that's specific to your site. Now, I recognize that industrial sites always need multiple wireless technologies to serve the full range of wireless needs. And because of that, look for other tech shorts like this one that cover off Wi-Fi, LTE, LoRaWAN, and other technologies. You can find them on cisco.com or on my YouTube channel. Take care.